Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying chapter number 12, perimeter and area, practice set number 45 we will be completing. The other practice set has already been completed. Link has been given in the description box. So in today's video, we will be studying how to find the area of a square and a rectangle. So two basic formulas that we are going to study today is area of square, which is side square and area of rectangle which is length into breadth you all can write the abbreviations or in the full form also you all can write it so these two formulas we are going to study and solve the examples related to these two formulas all right so let's start with the first question that is find the area of a square having side 12 centimeter okay so as we know we only need one uh, side for a square now everyone knows what is the property of square that all the four sides are common okay so when we have 12 for one side that means all the sides are going to be 12 centimeter okay so how are you going to solve this so suppose this is the question then area of square is equal to side square this is going to be the formula first fill side square side is 12 that means 12 square we all know 12 into 12 or 12 square is supposed to be 144 centimeter square that's it this much only we have to solve all right so let's move on to the next question now that is question number two the length of the rectangle is 15 centimeter and breadth is 5 centimeter. Find its area. Now we all know what is the property of a rectangle that the two sides are common. Okay, so length is 15 that means this will also be 15. If this is 5, this will also be 5. Alright, so first we will write the formula. The area of rectangle is length into breadth. So length is 15, breadth is 5. So 15 fives are, we all know 75 and centimeter square. Now why we are writing centimeter square? Because we are finding area. Okay, so while finding the area, we have to write centimeter square. Now the third question. The area of a rectangle is, now over here in this question, area is been given that is 102 centimeter square and its length is supposed to be 17 centimeter. <clears throat> Find its perimeter. You all can refer the question from the textbook children. It's in the textbook also. So, first what we have to do, we have to find perimeter also. That means first we have to find the breadth perimeter we have to find then we need to find the breadth as well okay so two things we need to find so finding the breadth is easy because we will get it through the formula itself isn't it so what is going to be the formula for the rectangle as we have used it in the above example area of rectangle is length into breadth so we have length we have area so area is how much 102 length is 17 breadth we don't know so we will find it out so therefore breadth is supposed to be 102 upon 17 so 17 ones are 17 6 are therefore we have got the breadth of a rectangle is 6 centimeter <coughs> all right now what is left? Perimeter is left. Now the perimeter of a rectangle formula is perimeter of rectangle is 2 length plus breadth. Area formula is this. Perimeter is this. So this will be 2. Length is how much now? 17 plus 6. Breadth is 6. We have just now found it. First, we have to add 17 plus 6 is going to be 23. 
Now, many of you all make mistake over here. You all directly add it. Okay, so you all don't have to add it. You all have to multiply. There is a multiplication sign before a bracket. Okay, so 23 twos are 2 twos are 4. 2 threes are 6 centimeter. Now, over here, centimeter square will not come because we have found the perimeter. Okay, and area was already been given in the question. Okay, we have already taken areas. Uh, that is 102 centimeter square length was been given breadth we found it then we found the breadth and perimeter as well okay so in this way you all have to solve the question number third let's move on to question number fourth now so the fourth question is if the side of a square is triple triple means three times okay remember that how many side, How many times will its area be as compared to the area of the original square? Okay. Matlab, what we have to find? We have to find the um, side of a square which is triple. Okay. And then we have to find what is going to be the area of the new square and compare it with the original square. So, let's start. Let Nothing has been given. So, let the side of square b a centimeter okay so what is going to be the area area is going to be a square centimeter square this is the formula isn't it isn't it side square means we have taken side as a so a square and that is going to give us the sides now the side of a new square is thrice okay so new square side b 3a centimeter okay so therefore area what will be the area of a new square area of new square will be a 3a square okay a square and this is thrice tripled as we have said so 3a so iska value ho jayega 3 3 is a 9a square centimeter square so this is going to be the area of the original one. This is going to be the new one. Okay. So, we have got the answer for both. The, it is 9 times the A square of the original square. So, how are you going to write the statement? The area. These two things only is important. The formula hai, wahi use karna hai. So, the area of the new square is 9 times hai na? it is a to hai same so if bad jata hai 9 so it is 9 times the area of the original square ok over here the exercise is over if you all are finding anything difficult, do let me know in the comment sections. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.